So back here, now that we have added uh, some products here, uh, oh, the cancel thingy doesn't work here, does it? Which is not good. I'm just noticing that now. Okay, so that's not a big deal. What I can do is I can right click and inspect element on the edit here and just use the same uh, on-click listener here. So it says uh, show edit product. Is that what it says? Yes, show edit product. Mm -hmm. So let me come back here. Where is the edit part? Add product, edit product, and then finally we have a button here. So let's see where that button is. Yeah, so it seems to be correct there. Yeah. So why isn't it working? Show edit. Uh, well. Let me just put false here because I just want it to close the thing. So let's try again, refresh, click there, cancel. Okay, that's working. Okay, so now that we are here, it would be nice to have a button here that goes to our website, right? So that way, uh, while we are in the admin section, we can easily go back and see our website here. So next to logout right there next to I will go to the header in the admin section header and look for the logout button. So it must be quick to search. Logout right there. So right there, I will um, I will duplicate this. And instead of logout, I will put one of these as website yeah mm -hmm. so refresh yeah website right there so instead of uh, having this say uh, logout we're just going to leave root there just like that and we are done what did I do wrong here I think I removed okay there we go I went too far yeah, so that this way, if I right click and open this in a new tab, I go to the front page. Or I can just click to go right there to go on the front page. So there we go. So now what we need to do, since we do have products this time, we can uh, replace these products that are here. So the first thing I want to do is remove this uh, this thing coming over the images like this. If you like this, uh, that's up to you. You can leave it there, but personally, I am. I think we can do better. So I will remove this. So what we will do is go to the index.php and see how we can modify that page. So I will come back to, I'll move out of the admin area here and just go to these views and go to the index.php. So um, we have the slider there at the top for index or PHP, but then we have uh, products down here. Oh, wait a minute. We have the categories area here. And then, wait a minute, I'm getting lost here. Where are the products? So there's a, uh, if we look at this, there's featured items. So that's what we have to look for. And then there we go. So was it, did it say featured or features? Hmm. All right, so featured items. This is the part right here. So let's deal with one because we just need one item here. We don't need to edit any of these others here. We just need to edit one and uh, that will be it. We can use the same uh, idea on all the rest. So let's start with number one here with 50 or all of them uh, have the same information. So easy polo, this is one. So it looks like one item and starts here and ends there. 
or not because there's this thing saying product overlay so i am suspecting that the product overlay is the thing that comes over because you can see the information is repeated here so if i do delete this part right there i am confident that i will have removed that uh, thing yeah so very nice i have removed what i wanted to remove so now i can click on add to cart and so on these ones still have it but all we need is to deal with one item and that's it let me look at this one with a new thingy on the corner there let's see if that is anything special that's one two three four five so number four and number five so this is number four no 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 where is that add to wish list a I should be able to see justify new number four number five okay let me just use the search if it's actually there class new no I don't think that will matter so let's leave it out of it there okay so featured items right there so this is one item now the whole item here we should see how far that goes so this is uh, from here this column small four this to there this is one item okay so that's where everything repeats so if you see column four there that's the thing so let me see how many of these we can remove so I want to remove one, two, three, four, five. And so we can have this at the bottom, which we can deal with later. So for now, we just remove those five at the top. So this is number two. This was number one. It still has a product overlay. So this is number two. Let's delete. It will even uh, reduce the amount of code we have to look at on our page. Two three four and then finally five so as you can see it even says here this is the ending of featured items so let's put it like that and then now let me refresh uh -huh. so as you can see on the home page now we have one item only now we can do a loop to loop through as many times as we want and let's loop by how many products we actually have so if i go to my uh, uh database here eShop products you'll see that i have one two three four products here okay so pretty good now we just need to read from the table products and get whatever is there for now now, as I said earlier, we don't want to be doing any logic inside our view pages. This is very important in order to sustain the model view controller uh, situation we have here. So always remember that do not do any complicated stuff inside the views. Because what will happen is when you change the view, you're going to have problems because all your logic is going to be part of that view. So. It'll be difficult when you're trying to redesign your website so in that tradition of doing things from the top let's go to the very top here which is the index controller the home controller right there so everything must be done inside the control all the heavy uh, lifting of logic should be done here so the first thing we want to do is read from our database so as you can see here if i come back here <clears throat> This is how we actually instantiate our database. And then when we want to read, we do the write or we do the read as required. So I will just copy this DB get instance, copy that. And let's come back to the home controller right here. And then because I know I will be using my database, I will instantiate it right there. Save. 
So once I do that now, I can do a, uh, a products like this. No, I should not name it products. Uh, I should just say rows, something like this, is equal to db read like this. And then let's put our query there. I would just say select all from products like so. We won't put any, um, we won't put any, any conditions here. We just want to get everything. So rows here. Now, in order to transmit the data, I have to put it inside this data. So I will do this and put rows over here in capital, capitals like that to maintain the, just to make it different. So we know this rows contain actual product rows. Okay, so that's it. That's what we needed to do. And then now if I go to my index page and reach this point, I can actually um, load everything here. So remember that this part from there, from the column four, this is one product. So you can put a comment here like one product just so uh, it's easy to see what you're doing. And then at this point here, you paste that and say, end one product, like so. That way you know exactly where you are. So this is one person. So we're going to loop through this part right here. So what I will do here is put some PHP tags. I will put an if statement and say, if is array. So if statements that are simple are okay. If his array rows like that, full colon, so that I don't have to uh, remove my, to echo my HTML uh, stuff here. So if this is true, then let's do one more thing here. Instead of an if statement, let's do a for each. So if that is true for each rows as row, just a small letter row like that. Okay, then down here, we do both of these as well. PHP, and let's end the, uh, the if statement first. Remember, it's a semicolon at the bottom there, not a full colon. I'll duplicate here, and for each. Okay. Very good, looking good. So let's see if we're going to have four loops of this. So refresh. All right, so call to undefined method PDO read. Okay, so the problem is I do too many projects so I forget what I use inside here. So let me go back to the home controller, DB read. So this is prohibited somehow. So let's go to core and database and let's see what we actually used. And there's read right there. So what is the complaint again? Call to undefined method read. Hmm. Okay, so instead of get instance, let's try new instance. That uh, get instance uh, thing is becoming a nuisance. So I think from now on, I just recommend you use new instance and not get instance. All right, so to stop those headaches. So as you can see, we have looped it as many times as products we have. The only problem is it's not showing the correct information, but at least we know now that we are adding some products here. Okay, so in the next video, we will add some detail to our products and enhance them a little bit. See you then.